episode of Menace Mode for 2022. It's been a huge year, bringing on different projects such as Hip Hop Head vs Metalhead and Pre Friday Thursday. We've hit some real milestones, including over 500 subscribers and 25,000 views on a video. And I can't thank you enough for all of your support. Our very first episode for 2022 is from Mosh Potato. It's been a little while, five months actually, since we've done the Kale Amor recipe by Liam Wilson of Dillinger Escape Plan. It's time for a really special, special recipe because not only are you going to see the artists themselves, but it's their birthday today. So I want to send out a huge happy birthday to Ash Pearson of Revocation. This is your Australian birthday and I hope you have an awesome day. The Canadian drama Ash Pearson's very first kit was a Silver Sparkle Export Edition Pearl and it was sold to him by the now Nickelback drummer Daniel Adair. Like most artists, their very first performance was at school. At only 15 years old, he performed Slick by Slipknot to a very fortunate school auditorium. He has a real respect for the recently fallen Joey Jordison. So Three Inches of Blood were hitting the road and they needed a filling drummer. They call up Ash Pearson and he does such a fantastic job that there he stayed for eight years. They recently retired, but if you haven't already, go and check out Three Inches of Blood with Ash's material, you won't be spoiled. In 2018, he did what we all dreamed, joining one of his favorite bands of all time, Simmers Hole. This is alongside ex Fear Factory bass player Byron Stroud and a fellow Mosh Potatoes alumni, Jed Simon. In 2014, Revocation needed a drummer. And just like they did with Three Inches of Blood, they called the man Ash Pearson. And there he has stayed. And if you have not checked out Revocation, I highly, highly recommend it. Despite the implications that COVID had placed upon the touring world, Ash has not taken a holiday. He does very frequent drum clinics for people all over the world. He streams on Twitch and he even runs a Dan Caballero fan page. Ash's recipe is called the heavy stew. And while it may not get as cold as it does here in Australia that it does over in Canada, hang on a minute, why am I talking about the recipe when I can get Ash to do it himself? Ash, take it away. Hey Megan, this is Ash Pearson. Thanks for having me on. I uh, play in a band called Revocation, but I used to play in a band called Three Inches of Blood. And when I played in that band, they asked me to contribute a recipe to a book called Mosh Potatoes, which you are apparently making. So let's, uh, let's have a little, little look here. Like let's have some cookbook story time. You know what I'm saying? So here we are, the heavy stew by Ash Pearson of Three Inches of Blood. I was introduced to hearty meals by my parents at an early age. Leftover chilies and soups were always great for staying warm in a very cold Saskatoon winter in Canada. This stew includes all my favorite vegetables and spice ingredients, plus a generous portion of meat. Uh, a friend of mine named Curtis Dean introduced, it, uh, introduced to me the idea of adding Coca-Cola to the stew and the dumplings. Truly satisfying. Sounds gross, but it's pretty good though. Coca-Cola, I never would have thought. But a little bit of that sugar, and obviously Coke could like clean your driveway, you know, it's so acidic. It actually tenderizes the meat real nice. And it pretty much like disappears in the soup. So you don't really even notice it's there. So yeah. There you go, page 48 of Mosh Potatoes, my recipe for a stew, which also includes dumplings. So dumplings, who doesn't like that in a soup? You know, you get, it's like you dip bread in with your soup, but you basically don't even have to do that because the bread's already in the soup and it's like chewy, but it's soft, it's very satisfying. It's a really nice addition and I show you how to make the dumplings in there too. So yeah. All the instructions are there. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for making me part of this. And uh, everybody go check out Mosh Potatoes. There's some other great recipes in there. Specifically, uh, one by Mr. Jed Simon, a bandmate of mine. He shows you how to make like a white wine garlic sauce for pasta, it's very good. And another one uh, by a friend of mine named Dave Whitty from Municipal Waste. He gives you recipes for, I think they're turkey gyozas or something like that, those are great. And then last but not least, Kale Amal by Liam Wilson from the Dillinger Escape Plan is another honorable mention. 
It's a simple recipe, but it's very, very delicious and satisfying, and I make that all the time. So again, Megan, enjoy the heavy stew. Okay, there you have it. You heard from the man himself, Ash Pearson, about how to pull together this stew. Now, like I mentioned in my very first video, I'm no cook, so I'm really sorry to all Canadians if I absolutely fuck this up. Coca-Cola is quite a random ingredient, but I'm about to show you how it all comes together. I'm drinking Canadian Club for my Canadian friend, Ash. It's time to don the apron again. It may be a little while since we've done this, but let's start the year on a huge note. This is the Heavy Stew by Ash Pearson of Three Inches of Blood and Revocation. Let's rock and roll. It, the Heavy Stew by Ash Pearson. I'm a big fan of the guy's music, so I really hope that I didn't suck this up. I'm gonna wait for some feedback to see how it actually should be prepared and if mine looks any different. Once more, I want to thank Ash so much for being a part of this video and happy birthday to him. He was born in 1986 on January 26, which is Australia Day. The last time that we saw a revocation in Australia was in 2020 as main support for cattle decapitation. Here's to a great 2022 and hoping that they come straight back to us. Thank you so much for joining me on the very first episode of Manus Mode for 2022. We've got a hell of a lot of recipes to get through and mushed potatoes and I hope I'll see you next time. Whether it be another recipe, another pre-Friday Thursday or another hip hop head versus metalhead. Until then, wash your hands and have an awesome time. I'll see you then. Cheers.